Okay, so for question number 13, a group of 10th graders responded to a survey. So we have to find out which of the following category accounts for approximately 19% of all survey respondents. So this is just a trial and error kind of question. Let's try out option number A. So females taking geometry as 53. So 53 upon the total number, and you multiply that by 100 and you get the percentage. So, um, this is this is basically 17.09 so a is not the answer then we have b you must taking algebra 2 so 62 that's 20 still not quite it so males taking geometry is 59 59 is 19.03 so this can definitely be it but let's just check out d as well Males taking algebra one, so 44 over 310. Nope, that's really far off. So C is your answer. All right, so the table above lists the length to the nearest uh, inch of a random sample of 21 brown bird will head fish. The outlier measurement of 24 inches is an error. Which of the following will change the most? All right, so first of all, let's see what will happen to the range. The first, Initial range is 24. All right, so let me just write that here. Range. The first initial range here is 24 minus, which is 16. The new range will be 16 minus 8, which is 8. So yeah, that's a pretty big jump. Let's see what happens to the median. Um, basically, they've already assorted the lengths in terms of ascending order. So you just have to find out the middle value. So when it comes to 21, the value we should be looking at uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the middle value. So 12 is the initial median. If we remove 24, the middle value will still be 12. So median, no change. All right, so let's just look at the, what's going to happen to the mean as well. So we're just going to add up all the lengths. And then you're going to divide it by the total. It's 11 plus 11 plus 12 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 plus 14 plus 14. Plus fifteen plus fifteen plus sixteen plus twenty four over twenty one. So the initial mean is twelve point four seven. The new mean is you just remove the twenty four and you decrease the total number of fish to twenty. The new mean is eleven point nine. That is not at all a big jump. So the greatest jump is happening in the range, which is your answer as C. All right, so moving on. Question number 15 is basically referring to this graph. What does the C intercept mean? C intercept is the total cost for R0. So Total number of boats rented is wrong. Total number of hours the boat is rented is also wrong. The increase in cost is also wrong. This is actually the gradient. So option number D is actually telling you the gradient. Option A is the answer. It is the initial cost. It is the cost at hours equal to zero. Basically when the time is zero hours. Now they're asking for an equation for this line basically. So the y-intercept is five. D is wrong because According to, D, it's, according to D, the y-intercept is 0. The graph should have been looking like this. So C, D is not the answer. OK, so let's just look at what's the gradient. Just look at the rise upon run. So rise for here is 8 minus 5. And the run is 1. So 3 is the gradient. So 3h plus 5. Because the general equation goes something like y is equal to mx plus c. So C is equals to 3H plus the Y intercept, which is 5. So C is the answer. All right, so the next question says, the complete graph of the function F is shown for which value of X is the value of FX at its minimum. You can see that the minimum value of FX is 
minus 2, it is over here. So x over here is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So minus 3 is the value of x when fx is at its minimum. So your answer is b. Okay, so for question number 18, we have two inequalities over here. So, and they've given us that 0 comma 0 is a solution to the equation. So an alternative way of writing this is y is greater than x plus b or y is lesser than minus x plus a. So just remove x and y because when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. So you get, so b is lesser than a or a is greater than b. So your answer is a. Next. Um, salads for six fifty each and drinks for two dollar each. So two hundred and nine salads and drinks. So the total number of salads and drink is two hundred and nine. So S here is the number of salad. D here is the number of drinks. And I wrote this equation by myself. The next one, the next value that they've given us is the total revenue. Basically, how much was earned. So if one salad costs six fifty, so the total uh, amount of money earned by the Salads would be 650, uh, 6.50 uh, times S plus the total amount of money earned by drinks would be 2 times D and you will get the total as 836.50. You will solve this and you will get the answer of, you will get the number of salads as 93. So your answer here would be B. Okay, Alma, brought, Alma bought a laptop computer at a store that gave a 20% discount of its original price. The total amount she paid for the, to the cashier was $3, including an 8% sales tax on the discounted price. Which of the following represents the original price? So basically, let's just make the original price X. So to get P, you will have to first of all have a 20% discount on X. So 0.80X. And then what you will do is... 0.80x she's paying this amount and then she's also paying a 12% and 8% sales tax on the original price uh, on the discounted price so this is the discounted price so 1.8 times 0.8x and this is equal to p so now what we have to do is just uh, make x the subject so basically you have 0.80x plus one point, actually no, it's not 1.8, it's 1.08. So 1.08, 0.8x is equal to p. You just make x common and then you have 1.08, 0 0.8 is to p. So x is equal to p upon 0 0.8 plus 1.08 multiplied by 0 0.8. So there we go. So the answer here should be D. The data in the table above were produced by sleep researchers studying the number of dreams of one week. The group X consisted of 100 people who observed early bedtimes and group Y consisted of 100 people who observed later bedtimes if a person is chosen and random who record at least one dream what is the probability that the person belong to group y so at least one dream so you're just gonna take group y either it's one to four or it's six or it's uh, five or more so you're gonna do 68 plus 11 divided by the total sample um Actually, no, not the total of the sample, the total of this. So, because you're choosing, if a person is chosen and random from those who record at least one dream. So, this is the total number of people who record at least one dream. So, probability is equal to the favorable outcome over the total number of outcomes. So, the favorable here are either they belong in group Y. So, group Y, we have 11 plus 68. And then we're going to divide that by the total, which is 125 plus 39. 79 upon 164 is your answer here. So there's that. All right, so let's move on to the next questions.
which of the following best ap- approximates the average rate of change in the annual budget for agricultural slash natural resources in Kansas from 2008 to 2010? Uh, from 2008 to 2010, basically you have to first of all look for the information. So 2008 to 2010, uh, the sector that we are concerned with is agriculture slash natural resources. So this is what we're concerned with. So the overall change is 480. We're going to subtract these two numbers from each other. So 106 minus 358, 708. Now we're going to divide that by 2 because we're going to find out the average. So this gives you... the answer as B. So basically what we're doing here is first of all, we're going to subtract the value in 2010 from 2008 because this is the overall jump that's happening. And since we have to find out the average change for one year, we're going to divide this by two because this is the change for two years. So the change for one year is about 64,699. So if you round that off, we'll get 65,000. So since this is at, we can see written here that it is in thousands of dollars. So we're just going to multiply whatever we're getting with thousand. And that's giving you $65 million per year. So the answer is B. Of which of the following programs ratio, which of the following, which programs ratio of its 2007 budget to 2010 budget is closest to the human resources programs ratio of 2007 to 2010. So for human resources, you have the ratio 2007 to 2010, you're just going to divide both of these from each other. So 4 point, not 4.01, 4051 and 050 divided by the value of 2010, which is 5921379. So the ratio is almost 0 0.68. So we're just going to have to try out all options for this one. So basically just divide the value of 2007 by 2010 and the closer it is to 0 0.68, the better. So 373904 over 488106 this is 0 0.76 i mean it's it's close but it can certainly be closer so let's look at education 2164607 over 3008036 this is 0 0.72 so closer now highways and transportation 1468 Four eight two one seven seven three eight nine three. This is zero point eight three, which is like really far off. Let's look at public safety next. So two six three four six three divided by four six four two triple three. You get zero point five six. So the closest is. B education and let me just check if this is the right answer. All right, yeah, this is the right.